the worst show to watch on any platform regarding Israel, Hamas, and Palestine is Piers Morgan. Piers Morgan is... I know what he's trying to do. He's doing whatever he can to get people to yell at each other. He does whatever he can to, to say the, the easiest to understand and the safe, the complete safe. He says that which is safe. There's never any controversy as to what he says. He, he says nothing. And he has people on who are very loud, very vituperative, very, very vociferous. And they yell and they scream and he wants to get, obviously, metrics and, and, and you know, God bless him. But what he doesn't understand and most people don't understand is the following. And, and it's best described to you through this thought maneuver, this manipulation of ideas, okay? Number one, I'm going to make it very simple. I'm going to say Israel and Hamas, or you can call it Israel and Palestine, or whatever you want, but let's just make it very simple. Two, Israel or Hamas. Now, rule number two, and you didn't know there was a rule number one with that. There are a very few people calling the shots as to the fate and the strategy and the tactics of Israel and its military and the like. And the same thing goes for uh, Hamas. Very few people, just a few. So when you talk about what do Gazans think, what do Israelis think, what do soldiers think, forget it. They're not involved in this. And Piers Morgan's not involved in this either. They are the victims. They are the people who actually feel the brunt, the actual effects of this, these procedures. That's number two, I guess. Number three, and I'm going to stop <laughs> serializing these and let you keep track yourself. When you, have, when you look at this, you've got to say, what would I think if I were one of these two people? This small group of people who represent the Israelis and this small group of people who basically run the show, let's say regarding Hamas, what would I want? What do I want? Not, not, not what's right, what's wrong, not what history shows us. No, 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 no. What do I want? What would I want? Let me tell you what I would want. What I would want is if I was involved in, in let's say, Israel, I would want the Palestinians out anywhere else. I don't necessarily mean them harm. I wouldn't want to kill them or, no, I want them gone. I don't have to deal with them anymore. I want it all for myself. That's what humans do. People want stuff for themselves. Nobody wants to share. There is no sharing. There is no two-state solution. You know it, I know it. There's never going to be. It's never. Sounds good on paper. But that's what I would want. And if I were a member of a very small group of Israel, and by the way, I'm not suggesting anybody thinks like this, but I wouldn't be surprised if they did. And I would say, I want to do everything in my power to get rid of these people. I want to make it as miserable as possible. I want them to go to Egypt, or I want the, I want the uh, Jordan to absorb the West Bank. I don't care, but I want these people out of here. They have been nothing but a pain in the ass, and this is ours, and I want Israel, the greater Israel, Israel proper, and I want them gone. And maybe, I might wanna, maybe I'll, I'll put in settlements and then push them, you know. Uh, maybe, uh, you know, from, from the river to the sea works both ways. You know, I want you out. Okay, stop. What would I want if I were the Palestinians? I want Israel out. I don't care about 1948. I don't care about the UN. I don't care about any of this stuff. I want, th this is ours. Now that's a tall order. That's a tall order because of the configuration of the way people think in the world, the, the power structures after 1948. It's going to be virtually impossible, but that's what I would want. That's what I would want. I would want, or, 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 or I would want to be able to come and go as I please. And if that means having Hamas say goodbye, fine. I don't care. What do I care about Hamas? I just want to be able to come and go and live the way everybody else does. That, that's, that's at the lowest level. But if I was a Palestinian, if I was at the, in the, you know, the, the, uh, the commission, so to speak, like in the mafia, if I ran the show, 
if I was part of Hamas, if I was part of the Palestinian Authority or whatever it was, I I don't know. I, I, I think I'd have a tall order to say I want the whole area for myself, but I do not want to cooperate. And fourth or fifth or whatever, the hatred between these people. Again, not the citizens, but the people at the very top. Oh, my God. You can't even understand it. And that's always been in any particular grievance. I am a realist. I look at this. I'm thinking, how do we stop this? How do we protect the lives of innocent Israelis, innocent Gazans, innocent Palestinians? The rank and file, the Joe and, you know, six pack or hummus or whatever you want to call it. The, just the regular, the regular guy, regular gal, the regular family. How do you stop them? The first thing is, is to recognize how this thing works and not believe that there's this apodictic black and white solution. If I hear one more person say, well, you know, after all, Israel left in 2005, left Gaza. It's up to them. Those people screwed it up. It's a Palestinian authority. It's this. It's the Yasser Arafat. It's Fatah. Is this something new? Or to have Pierce Morgan say, do you recognize Hamas as a terrorist organization? Why, why does this one question just mesmerize people? How many times do we ask this question? And what do we get out of it? What do we get? We're, we're getting nowhere. And then you'll bring on the Piers Morgan screaming uh, bar baits. Two guys with beards screaming at each other. Or a screaming Palestinian woman. Or a screaming... Normally, it's somebody who, who basically is the heel to Piers' baby face. There's a... Uh, was very good. I like him. Oh, you know, he's the, the the cardiologist, comedian, the John Stewart of Egypt. Anyway, very very good. But again, we're, we're this is all circular. I understand what he's saying, and that's the problem. You've got to be able to understand, as F. Scott Fitzgerald said, you've got to understand two seemingly inconsistent, two seemingly opposed ideas, and you've got to be able to handle them without losing your mind in the meantime. Now, let me explain something to you. This is an either-or thing. If you're on TV, if you're on any kind of program, if you're anything, it's either-or. Israel or Hamas or Palestine. Israel or Palestinians. It, that's it. There, there, you, you cannot see, do not see both sides. You don't ever break it down the way I've done it. You make it sound like there's this idea of evil versus good. And both sides are saying that. Both sides are claiming the other side. This is this is going nowhere. The, the, the programming is beyond dull. And when people try to do it, they they're and don't don't kid yourself, there are people who remember. Most people who go on any kind of a TV show want to do it because of the metrics, the numbers, the following. And they're not going to get numbers by saying things that are rational. If anybody went on TV and said what I said just now, they'd never be asked back again. That no, nobody's screaming because people are like, well, it's got a point. Because in a way, it's very, very simple. As is most of the stuff that happens to us. Wars, involvement, our own occupation, our own military actions, our own coalition of the willing, our own Iraq and Afghanistan and all that. Nobody asks us. A handful of people, maybe, maybe just the president and his cabinet using war powers, they do this. There's no consensus when people ask, did America send its troops into Iraq? No, we didn't. No. And does the Israeli citizen have a lot to say about this? No. May agree, but doesn't. Same thing with Palestinians. It's a handful of people. And Hamas is only going to do what Hamas wants to do. And the people who are controlling Hamas through money, through influence, the people above Hamas... They're in charge. And the people who collectively maybe rule them, and you could you could talk about the influences of whether it's Hezbollah or Iran or whatever it is. Israel, I understand 
Israel, let me explain something to you. Let me see if I can say it this way. If I'm Israeli or if I'm Palestinian, my actual human instinct would be, I want my homeland for me. I don't want to share it. I'm going to say I do. I'm going to pretend I do. I'm going to act like I do, but I don't. Now, what I will do to achieve my independent ownership, that we can talk about forever. But understand what we're talking about. And if you can't see both sides simultaneously, like Scott Fitzgerald said, sign of a great mind is somebody who's able to handle two seemingly inconsistent ideas simultaneously and not lose their mind. Unless you see it that way, you're just going to waste your time. Do you, do you think that when they say, have a ceasefire, a ceasefire, and making comparisons to Dresden in World War II, you don't understand what's going on here. You don't understand what's going on. Remember, a handful of people on both sides are in charge of everything. Not Piers Morgan, not uh, Ben Shapiro, not anybody else. A handful of people. And sometimes, sad to say, the last thing anybody's concerned about is how people's lives are actively affected. This is so... So... You don't need me to tell you it's tragic. But if you personally are going to understand it, if you are, if you, as a citizen of the world who wants to grasp what's going on, you must be able to handle the issues simultaneously. Listen and see what people want from the viewpoint of that person, no matter what it is. Like Robert McNamara said in The Fog of War, have empathy, be empathic. Don't agree with them, just understand what they feel. Okay? And I don't expect anybody to appreciate anything of what I said. But that's okay. Never stopped me before, and it won't stop me now. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and please, I want to see what you think. What are your thoughts? Comment. Comment in the comment section as you see fit.